What's happening, y'all? Today I'm going on a little solo mission. We're heading to the Toronto Fishing and Boat Show. Um, I go to it every single year. The show is great. Uh, there's plenty of vendors there. The place is huge. And I want to buy some new tackle. I want to get. I want to see what's new for this year. So this is going to be exciting. Um, there's a few speakers that are going to be there. One in particular that I follow that I follow myself on YouTube, and that's Brian Latimer. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, so I just got back from the Toronto Fishing and Boat Show. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to see b -Lat there. Brian Latimer is going to be there Sunday and Monday, and today's Saturday, but I am going to try to catch him on Monday. Uh, there was a lot of cool vendors there. Uh, I can, I'll start off with just a few. Uh, nice Shine Lure Works, not really sure if that's how you pronounce it. They make some really cool crankbaits and jerkbaits. I picked up some crankbaits. I normally use the Strike King and the Live Target crankbaits. But they make these really dope looking crankbaits and i had to grab a few just to try them out now they're all made well i'll give you a little history about the guy he's from japan he moved to canada a year and a half ago and he started mass producing his own crankbaits now in japan he was hand carving all the crankbaits for the pros over there and he won they won a lot of championships on his crankbaits so if you can see you see all these little edges and whatnot so what they're doing is they're copying his actual mold that he makes by hand and they're and we're recreating them in a plastic uh, everything is still assembled by hand and I'm, I'm excited to get these on the water and try them out uh, they're not cheap they're $22 a piece but I was told they're very very well worth it so I'm gonna give them a shot uh, next I had the perfect elite jig uh, these these guys are also here in Canada uh, I like to support local so I'm always buying anything that's local the reason these guys caught my eye is here I'll show you what a basic jig and here's the bait keeper on a basic jig so normally i would throw i would throw my soft plastic on there and put some super glue on there and keep my bait on there now these guys use a very similar bait keeper like a uh, swim bait bait keeper and i was told if i throw one z-man on here i'm fishing that z-man all day and these guys are super affordable they were five for 25 and the skirts look really pretty um they're all hand tied so yeah, I'm excited to give these a shot as well. Uh, another one is I stopped by the Daiwa booth and I was talking to the guys and they released the new Crossfire. Now I'm a big fan of the Crossfire. It's not their super expensive uh, spinner reels, but I like the reel. Um, I've been fishing their other model for the last four years. This is the Crossfire 2500 and I have had no complaints. Their drag is really, really nice and smooth. So I went ahead and I picked up two of the new ones. Now the LTs are light and tough, so they're a little smaller in size compared to last year's model and well, I bought these four years ago. Um, but they they assured me that the drag is actually smoother on these and it still, it feels, when you're reeling it in, it feels as smooth. So I can't wait to try these two on the water. And last but not least, thanks Blackfly Lures for hooking me up with some gear. Um, the hat's really comfy. Hats usually make my ears hurt because they're too big. And this guy actually sits right, so I'll probably be using this a lot during the summertime. Alright guys, I forgot to mention the most important thing. I am now sponsored by Enigma Fishing. Uh, this year's tournaments will be sponsored by Enigma Fishing and Moo Tungsten. I'm super excited to be working with Enigma Fishing. They're actually, they're based in Florida and I'm from Florida, so it's really cool to be dealing with a company that's locally where you're, where you're from. Um, I have a package coming in about two or three weeks from now and I'm going to do a a reveal online so I'm really really excited to be working with them so unrelated news I was walking around at a boat show and I happened to fall next to the Triton lineup um, the Triton TXR 20 I believe is the model number that boat is gorgeous um, I have a video at the end of the video you're gonna see a video of me uh, actually going around the boat because I, I fell in love with it that's probably gonna be my next bass boat, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I had a hefty price tag of $98,000, so I'm gonna have to save a little bit. My, my Nitro is gonna be my go-to for the next five years, probably. But that's probably gonna be my next battle wagon. All right, guys, so if you haven't yet, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram, it's Lake Hopper. I release new videos every Sunday, so stay tuned, guys.
Thank you. 